G'day my friends, it's Marty Ware here from the Marty's Garden Show on YouTube and today I've got an exciting show for you because we've just about finished the permaculture chicken coop. Now this thing is an ongoing process because I want to get it better all the time and just keep perfecting it but I'm really happy where we're at now like Karen's already harvesting some of the, uh, the peas, she's eating the peas. Yum. <laughs> and we're just about to get some tomatoes, the cucumbers are budding up, we've got little chilies on the way, I've been getting some, uh, some small peppers which we call capsicums here in Australia, we're continually getting eggs, the, you know, the, the tomatoes are, are just growing wild now, they're growing up and I'm actually like weaving them through the wire now, the passion fruit is going from top to bottom, it's growing right up and it's going to cover one whole side of the pen. Another beautiful part is it's getting starting to get warm now and the tomatoes are providing some afternoon shade for our little chicken friends and they get in there and they hide behind the tomatoes in the late afternoon and enjoy just kicking back in a little bit of dirt there and having a relax before Karen comes home from school and takes them for a walk. Yeah, she takes them for a walk around in the wheelbarrow and finds different food for them and has a good old time. So what have we done in the chicken coop? Well, the permaculture chicken coop. Well, we've put in some like trial underground worm farms, which I believe aren't working as good as I would like. I think they need to have a bigger head on them and then the pipes need to come down and pump out vertical and uh, so there's more surface area at the top of the pipe. So that's something that I'll be working on to perfect later on. I may add an add-on to the top of that and just see how, how that goes. Now, the, the vertical garden is doing quite well and Matt put some extra, like, um, to make sure, like, wire rods around the outside. And they're gripping onto that. I've found that I've had to put another layer of black plastic at the back behind the chicken coop uh, to stop the chickens' heads poking through because they're getting their heads through and they're grabbing a lot of the food and, you know, hey, we want to have healthy plants. We want them to be able to grab some of the bugs and things too, but there's a fine line between grabbing and eating plants and grabbing bugs, right? But it's doing really well and, you know, all the soil that's coming out of the chicken coop is going back onto the bed and into the microgreens compost pile so it's all recycling really really well I'm getting the microgreen trays when they're finished I throw some into the chicken coop I throw some back on the old pile mix it through go and get some and put it back through so I'm continually getting new fresh nitrogen from the chickens from the chicken coop recycled back through the garden and that's exactly how I wanted it I want to keep as much as I can and use as much as I can on the farm, well on the backyard farm for the microgreens and for our food that's going to be growing through the summer. Now I'm looking at starting a channel for Karen and it's going to be called This Is Karen. So? Um, these chickens were being naughty and they just ran around everywhere and I said stay. They Is that right naughty. Henrietta, you've been naughty chicken? Yep. And we're going to be launching it in a couple of weeks if all goes well. So keep an eye out for that. I'll let you know when that comes out. It's going to be really good fun. And I think if you guys, you know, those ones there that love Karen out there and you're fans of hers, you're going to really love this show. Let's pray that I can keep, keep it going and kick it off, guys. All right. If you want to learn more from me about growing food in urban places and small spaces, urban places and small spaces, please subscribe to Marty's Garden on YouTube. There's plenty to learn and lots of tips and tricks along the way to help you with your garden needs and for growing on. Have a great day, happy gardening, and we'll see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now.